Hey guys, are you ready for more Five Days of Stranger? I sure am. When we last left off, Jim went psycho and tried to kill us. Huzzah! So now we have to talk to Miss Taylor. She wants to know what we think. Well, I think Sir Roderick had more than one son. Yes. Because of what I read in Sir Roderick's diary. Exactly. He makes references to some monster he helped create, and he doesn't mean Matthew. Those manacles can indicate that someone was kept in prison in the basement. Where do you think this other son came from? I want to hear what you think first. Hmm. Hmm. Linda, I don't know, what do you think? I'm pretty sure she had twins. I agree with that. I found Belinda's death certificate. She died about 20 minutes after Matthew was already out. I think it was the second son that did her in. Sir Roderick went practically insane with grief. Blamed the poor kid for her death, kept him locked in the basement, and refused to even acknowledge his existence. Can you imagine what that must have been like for the boy? Growing up in a filthy grotto like some kind of animal, given no education, no love? The boy would be completely retarded and insane. He probably couldn't tell the difference between one person and another. That's why he kills absolutely everyone who enters the house. He thinks they're all Sir Roderick. Come to torment him some more. But what happened on that day fifteen years later when Sir Redrick and Did Matthew disappeared? He found their corpses in the basement, so they were obviously murdered. Question is, how and why? Hmm. Sir Roderick went mad and tried to kill him. Yes! Remember in Sir Roderick's diary in the last entry? He talks about destroying the monster. He must have gotten really drunk and it being the anniversary of Belinda's death didn't help. He went to the basement and beat the poor kid to death. Half to death. Matthew found the body afterwards and tried to bandage him up. Matthew wasn't the sharpest tool in the box. His brother lived on for a bit longer. Long enough to get a mask and machete and kill both his father and Matthew. Then he must have just died of his wounds. Jesus, am I going to try and destroy this ghost? None of anything what happened to him is, my, is his own fault. What little mind he had is no more. All he has now is hate. If we don't kill him, he'll kill us all. There's no reasoning with him. I suppose you're right. It's very sad, really. What will you do now? I'm going to find his body. Then I'm going to figure out how to dis how to bring his soul back to it and destroy him. Well, let me know if I can be of any help. I will. Good luck. Thanks. Doop, 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 doop. Alrighty. Let's go check on Jimmy Boy. Hey, Jim. Jimmy Lemon Ding Dong. Mr. Chilby? Yes, Jim? Could I ask you a favor? Sure. I still have the mask and the apron and the knife from last night. Could you take them and throw them away from me? I really don't like having them around. Sure. Thank you. No, thank you. Jim? Yes? I don't care, Jim. I'll see you later. You gave me what I wanted, so let's head out, shall we? No trilby. No trilby. Down the steps. There we go. Into the door. Alright. Meow. There's Taylor. We don't need to talk to her, though. We need these. We need the scissors. 
Scissors are kind of like pixel perfect to get, so they can be a pain in the ass. What, what happened to the portrait? I don't want it. It kind of freaks me out. Well, it's gone. Ah, Philip's still dead. Jerk. Alright, so... Remember what we did with Salty Bear? We're going to do that again. We're going to use the scissors on the apron to get a strip. And then we're going to use the strip on the machete. And then we're going to use that on the welding mask. And then we're going to use this on the bag of salt. Hey. Well, they went away for some reason, so let's use it on the salt. And then you're going to want to head into the basement. Let's head over here. And we shall use this. Oops. On the chains. I guess this may be where he slept if he was chained the to these all the time. Alrighty, so let's take a look at it. Oops. Stupid thing. Look. Seems to be indicating upwards. Well, let's go then. <laughs> well, what better place to start than the shitter? I mean, after all, that's where Jim tried to kill us. So why not? Oops. I hate the inventory thing in this. It's indicating to the southwest. Hmm. Southwest, huh? Maybe right here? Dook. Straight down. Alrighty then. Let's look at the tiles. It's where the evil twin detector was paint pointing. Alright then, let's use them. Can't get them out with my bare hands. Hmm. Let's try using this thingy. Can always use a machete to get them out, I guess. It's trilby. Tiles. That does not work. Oh, I know. Let's cut the machete loose then. There we go. That would probably help. Can lever up the floor with the machete. Peter. Well, these bones are pretty oddly shaped. I think this kid must have been born deformed. The body. Okay, so let's take the body with us. <laughs> Yay, grave robbing. Oh, Trilby. So let's see if we can combine some things here. Uh, using the remains on the apron. Or the machete mask. The machete. Or the mask. Nope. Okay. Maybe later we can. Now let's head to the library. Mm 
And we want one of these books. Must be something about summoning angry spirits in here. Can't try any of these books at the moment. Hmm, did we already grab it? We did. Okay. So let's look at the book. Art of Black Magic and Necromancy. So many angry spirits to their body. Murderous wraiths are nigh indestructible when they can hop from body to body, but tying them down to their old bodies returns them to partial mortality, a state in which they can be destroyed. Simply enough, place the spirit's original body in a place of fire and death, return it its old clothes, then read aloud the following passage, omitting nothing. There's just a load of magic gobbledygook here. When I want to read it out, I should use this book on myself. Warning. Summoning of a wraith will often bring forth other unquiet spirits who will haunt those who hold their possessions. Well, that's great to know. Well, looks like we have everything we need to destroy Defoe. Let's go see Jim. We may need him for something. Hey, Jimalim. Jimmy boy. Uh, maybe not just quite yet. <laughs> Fire and death. That's the trophy room. Of course. Here's the moose head in a fire. So let's put the remains on the floor. I guess this would count as a room of fire and death. Okay. So let's. Ooh. Nice new creepy music. I'm liking this. Ooh, this is getting intense. Oops. Alright, let's use the apron on the remains. Somehow I don't think I've improved his looks. Oh, Trilby. Always with your witty remarks. So, alrighty. Let's get ready. Ooh. This music is giving me the chills. Okay, Simone, are you ready for this? Could you meet me in the trophy room, please? Do you have a plan? Indeed I do. Alrighty, we're going to need Jim for this plan, too. Oh boy, guys, this is getting intense. We are nearing the end of Five Days of Stranger. What will become of Trilby? Oh, Jim, I need you, my friend. Go down to the trophy room. I have a plan. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys. Next time on Five Days of Stranger, we finish the game. Till then, guys. See you later.